Hey Geminis, welcome to your love reading uh, from today, the 15th of July through the 23rd of July. Yeah, this month is going to have some funky timelines as far as the readings are concerned, but you guys know how time works. Time is not linear, so go ahead and check out any other videos that are just calling to you. They might resonate with you even if they have a different timestamp on them. It's just for organizational purposes for me. All right, so for my newbies, um, for anybody who's not familiar with my videos, I always go over my meditative session and the pre-shuffle, and then I go ahead and do the tarot reading. So let's get into the pre-shuffle, Gemini. Not pre-shuffle, sorry. Meditative session. <laughs> You're my first read of the day, and I feel so much better. I feel like I'm alive. I feel almost like Frankenstein. I've been brought back to life a little bit. Mm. Gemini's meditating on your energy. I got some really kind of funky energy, but some really kind of great stuff. Honestly, I know that some of you are kind of battling with this energy of dread. I was definitely feeling that. Um, but I feel like it's a, I feel like it's definitely self induced. Okay, so the very first thing I saw, which was kind of cool. For anybody who's seen the original Jurassic Park, I've actually never seen like the remakes. I've only seen the originals like from when I was, <coughs> excuse me, from the 90s. Um, and there's an infamous scene where, you know, they're all huddled up and like trying to be safe and like, you know, waiting shit out. And then they hear like the dumb, dumb, dumb. And they see like the water, like, you know, moving the like vibe, you know, verberating. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Verberating from the movement of the dinosaurs. Right. I don't think you're anticipating something big is coming. Some of you might because you are intuitive. Yeah, some of you are because you are intuitive, but it's more about the things that are external to you that you can't really control or that you feel you can't control is causing you some dread right now, okay? Um, and I definitely feel like it goes beyond just your, ex your, your life, like your energy field, like beyond your work, beyond your family. I can feel, Gemini's, that a lot of you are kind of looking at what's going on in the world and it's, it's putting a little bit of dread in you. All right, it's putting a little bit of dread in you. I can feel that, okay? Um, and a lot of you want to do something about it, which I really love. That's definitely the energy I'm picking up on. A lot of you want to do something about it. Some of you are considering starting your own nonprofits. Some of you are considering starting your own businesses that will benefit others and not just, you know, make a profit, right? Like you're not just making some luxury service. You're trying to do something that will help many people. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting more coffee. Mm. Mm. Now, Gemini's. That's definitely one energy that I was picking up on. I was also picking up on this. Um, it's actually kind of cute because I'm sure everyone goes through this when they're at the stage in their life. Um, thinking about parenthood, actually, I was picking on. I was picking up on that. Thinking about parenthood. Oh God, could I do this? Could I be a dad? Could I be a mom? I don't know. Like, I don't know if I could do this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right. It's like it's actually kind of cute because I'm sure a lot of people go through that. Some of you have been trying to start a family and you've been struggling with that. And so hence that doubt and hence that fear of dread of God, why I like I, I want this to happen. I really want this to happen. And why isn't it happening? Why? Like, you know, feeling like I need to be able to control this, but you can't always control it. Right. You guys are kind of struggling with that right now. Control, which makes sense because we are going into some Capricorn energy and we were dealing with some Capricorn energy that was causing us to question control issues and authority, right, on, on all kinds of levels. Um, and that's still kind of coming through here for you, Geminis. All right. Now, I'm also picking up on, <laughs> and I just, I'm just getting what I get. And I know this is not gonna be for everybody, but I also don't like to overexcite people either because I know sometimes the message is just for like a couple people, but someone's definitely considering marriage. Someone's definitely considering considering marriage. Someone's definitely considering proposing. Um, and I do feel like it's a very grand gesture sort of a thing. And I feel like it's kind of due to the energies at play, you know, where with all this eclipse energy, along with the other stuff going on this month, um, it's a lot of change in people's lives, right? A lot of change for the better, a lot of change to make us better, and a lot of sudden change and sudden realizations as well. And I feel like for this group, this is about a, a sudden realization that, you know, someone's either been dragging their feet for a long time or that they really haven't seen the situation with full clarity. And for some of you who are in that group, it is a return. I know, I know. I know it sounds like a movie, but it's just what I, it's just what I got. Okay, <laughs> it's just what I'm getting. And like I said, I don't like to overexcite people because that is only for a handful of people. And I know thousands of people watch me. So keep that in mind as I'm giving you that message. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the pre shuffle. So we've got the hanged man Piscean energy with the ten of pentacles Virgo energy and the three of wands in reverse Aries energy. I'm getting a lot of parental doubts here. 
actually, a lot of parental doubts of, oh God, like, why can't this work out the way I need it to? And like really wanting that control over parenthood and also having doubts of, I don't know if I could do this. I really don't know if I could do this. And I'm almost getting like seeking of guidance here with this, with the hangman energy, seeking of guidance on how to handle the situation, which is healthy. That's really, really healthy. I'm also getting, um, I'm also getting some business energy where maybe, you know, you've been, you know, at, you know, maybe at work, something hasn't been transpiring the way you've expected to, or maybe you haven't been getting the promotion you've been expecting. And you're starting to have that feeling of dread, that feeling of doubt, a little bit of that negative self-talk. Just stay calm, Gemini's. We're in a lot of crazy energy and you do have the hanged man here, which tells me that things are a little bit of a standstill with you regarding work and that's okay. That's okay. For those who are wanting to start a nonprofit or start a business, you're in the planning mode. You're in the planning mode, but again, you're having that that dread and doubt, okay? So just, just make sure you're aware of that. Just make sure you're working on it. Then we have the hermit, <laughs> excuse me. Ah, hermit, Virgo energy. So here you are, more planning and more contemplation. And I think I've been saying this a lot, but I just have to point it out again. I swear these two always come out together. They always come out together. The hermit and the hangman, they always come out together. But anyway, Geminis, you're trying to figure shit out, right? In hermit mode. And also trying to keep yourself calm. I'm definitely sensing that because Geminis, I feel like usually if you were having these emotions, you'd be in a little bit more of anxiety mode, a little bit more of like eight of swords, nine of swords. We might see that come out, but I feel like you're working really hard to stay grounded and to not go there, which is good. I love that. That's really healthy. Now, I was, when these cards, when these next cards come out, I was like, oh my. <laughs> so we have Ace of Cups. With the two of cups cancerian energy also soulmate energy so de dealing with someone from your soul tribe with the king of pentacles taurus energy you could be a gem taurian cusper um also earth and air this is definitely <laughs> this is a lot of love and i am getting strong commitment off of this and strong romance could it also be self-love sure but there's another person involved in this there's most definitely another person involved in this Gemini, and this does feel like a renewal or a new uh, return here because we also have death in reverse. Scorpionic energy, Lazarus energy, coming back, being brought back to life, reemergence here. Um, some of you might feel like for the first time in a long time, you have a true shot at love, which is really beautiful. And that could be with a new person. That could do totally do with a new person. But for a lot of you, I do feel like this is a return, a return of someone who's really leveled up who's got, gotten themselves some upgrades and who's really grounded themselves, right? Who's really grounded themselves. And I'm getting just a big, big support system kind of energy with this person. And it feels really good. It feels really good, honestly, Gemini. Some of you might be contemplating making this offer to someone else. Um, and keep in mind this romance energy I'm picking up on is not for everybody, okay? These are just messages I get, and this is a general. So these messages are for some, not for all. So just know that, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual reading. Are you guys hearing water? Mm. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I think I was just picking up on something. Uh, that's been happening more since I had my, I actually had a session with Adriano when I was in New Orleans. That was a very interesting session. I kind of want to talk about it with you guys sometime. Um, but since then, my abilities have evolved again. <laughs> constantly like having to reacclimate to my you know to my abilities um and i've started picking up on a lot more things but i am hearing water i know there's no running water around me right now but i'm hearing running water uh almost like a river or like a creek so maybe some of you live by a river or a creek either way i mean i just get that feeling of like things are flowing right things are flowing in the right direction um especially when it comes to emotional waters, right? Things are finally flowing. Oh, okay. They're giving me a download. Uh, either you or someone you, you're connected with, Gemini, and this is, goes for most of you, uh, going through some major heart chakra stuff, major heart chakra opening. Some of you might've gone through this already. But yeah, I'm just like, wow, that's a, that's a flowing river that I'm hearing for sure. Anyway, any messages for Gemini regarding love? From now until the 23rd. Any messages for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd? Careful with the negative self-talk, Geminis, because you are you guys are great manifestors. And some of you are trying to manifest something 
really awesome whether again you want to start your own business nonprofit some of you might even be thinking about doing the Peace Corps you know you're thinking of really big things that are external to you that you can, you want to be part of the bigger picture right it's like you don't want to just be in your own bubble doing your own thing anymore it's like I feel a lot of Gemini's are really wanting to kind of step out and and do something for others right it feels really beautiful. I love that energy. I freaking love that energy. Oh, see what we got here. Oh my. Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Um, and as you're trying to manifest, guys, having that negative self-talk is going to work against you, okay? So with this Nine of Cups in reverse, oh man. Oh, Gemini's, either you or someone you're connected with has felt some major, major letdowns. Oh, this sucks. It feels like it's in regards to a person. Like it's almost, oh man, it's that it's kind of it's that kind of energy where someone has just let you down over and over and over, and it's like you're sitting across on the table with them, and you're just like, but you have nothing to say. You barely want to listen to them. You know, it's that kind of energy. It's feeling very aggravated and aggravated, aggravated. Jesus, it's feeling like a very irritable energy. But you're hearing them out. You're hearing them out. You don't really want to, but you're hearing them out. Let's see what else we got. Any other messages for Gemini? For those in that romance situation, I feel like that's definitely a part of it. Um, others, I do feel like this is happening in work, where it's where this is why you're also questioning, maybe I need to do something that's actually benefiting other people and not just making money, right? You might be really fed up at work, like, wow, this is not the job I really thought it was, or I'm not treated well, or, you know, it's like, it's like that like that which is why you're ready to move on to the next but it's feeling like there's agitation behind it any other messages for gemini oh my emperor in reverse aries energy taurus energy divine masculine energy this could be a boss like i said like with work a boss who's let you down quite a bit here gemini um this could also be like a patriarchal figure like a father or a grandfather um it's also someone who usually has a lot because they worked really hard for it. Someone who was like a manager, CEO, could own their own business. Um, but again, it's also divine masculine energy for those that resonates with, right? Yeah, you're feeling like someone's really let you down. Someone's really let you down and it's like you're having a really hard time hearing them out, but you're, you're, you're trying. <laughs> you're trying. Let's see what else here. Honest, ooh, ooh. I just got nauseous. I think, I think, so, I think some of these emperors are doing a lot of drinking. Ugh. And yeah, I think some of these emperors are doing a lot of drinking. Oh my, now we got a king of cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Loyalty. Oh man. God, okay, Gemini's. <laughs> are you already taking me on an emotional roller coaster here? It's like we go from agitation and dis disappointment in someone, and now it's this like, uh <sighs> Loyalty and deep emotion is kind of coming forward. Yeah, loyalty and deep emotion is coming forward. Let's see what else is going on with this king. Any other messages for Gemini? Regard. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh my. The world. Fixed energy. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Could also be Saturn, which rolls Capricorn. This is being ushered in. There's a whole new cycle starting here, Geminis, and it's ushering in loyalty and some deep ass emotion. No wonder I was hearing a river. Um, wow. I do feel like a lot of you, this is in regards to um, this person who's really let you down. <clears throat> it, God, it's just, it's such a shift. It just feels like such a 180 shift with this person. Let's see what else we have. Any other messages for Gemini? Got also some travel indicated here. Could be traveling soon. Any other messages for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd? Wow, now we end with the Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Eight of Cups always goes towards the Ten of Cups. No matter what, sorry, excuse me, guys, coffee. Uh, no matter what you're leaving behind and no matter what you're heading towards, right? Always heading towards the Ten, heading towards more happiness. Whether you're going to leave this person behind or take, <clears throat> excuse me, or take them with you. Overall energy, we do have Death in Reverse, Scorpionic energy. Again, very Lazarus-like energy here. What was dead, what was once buried is now coming back up coming out of the ground essentially i'm also getting some truth with that as well 
Some long buried secrets too are kind of coming out here. I wonder if we're gonna get high priestess in reverse. All right. So let's let's go into this energy a little bit. Let's go into this disappointment associated with this emperor. So let's look at the nine of cups in reverse. I'm gonna use Rider Weight to clarify. Tell me about nine of cups in reverse for Gemini. Tell me about nine of cups in reverse for Gemini regarding love. From now until the 23rd. Tell me about nine of cups in reverse for Gemini regarding love. From now until the 23rd. Oh, oh, oh my. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy with the Page of Wands. I don't want to be in this anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to be disappointed anymore. Gemini's, you don't want to hold on to this energy regarding the Emperor. I can feel that you don't want to hold on to it. And they don't either. I do feel like there's going to be communication between the two of you. I do feel like there's going to be communication between the two of you. Keep in mind that this is a, you know, this is to the 23rd, but time ain't linear and energy can't really be contained. So this is gonna transpire for at different points for different people, okay? <clears throat> but this is basically saying, I don't wanna fight anymore. I don't wanna be in conflict anymore. I don't wanna hold on to the energy of tension with you. I don't wanna hold on to the energy of being so disappointed in you. And they don't either. They don't either, which I think is really beautiful. I really like that. Let's see what else we got. It's very honest and it's very mature. <laughs> which I think some of you have struggled with this person regarding maturity. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Gemini, some of you, this is about leaving a job for sure and going into um, a whole new cycle in your career, whether you're starting it for yourself or finding another job. I feel like, a, I feel, honestly, I feel like a lot of you want to start your own business. It's feeling really nice. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Oh, wow. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse for Gemini. All right. Oh, hold on. My bracelet got caught. What the heck? All right, hold on, guys. I don't know how the hell this happened. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm just going to take off my bracelet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be hanging from my shirt. Uh. Wow. How do, okay. I'll just keep that off. Anyway, Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. With the Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. With the Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. <sighs> Where to invest my efforts? Where to invest my efforts? I feel like this is the Emperor's energy. I feel like the Emperor is also coming, is coming in as a Knight of Wands, wanting to invest their efforts properly. I'm getting properly. Um, doing it the right way. Doing it the right way, doing it the honest way is also what I'm hearing. So, okay, I, I feel like this emperor has definitely lied to you at some point in time or deceived you at some point in time because there's something about honesty coming forward here, right? And with the seven of wands in reverse, without defenses, without defenses, <laughs> without defenses and without having their guard up, without having their guard up. And I'm getting a bit of a charging energy. I think they're going to try to make a very compelling argument here, Gemini. They're going to be honest and they're going to own up to their shit, but I think they're going to make a compelling argument for maybe reinvesting with you and keeping you a part of the big picture. Keep in mind, it's going to be vice versa, but that's definitely what I'm getting. And like, it's a very, very aggressive, very, very forceful energy. Wow. Well, let's see how this continues. Overall energy for the Nine of Cups in reverse. We do have Three of Cups in reverse. Oh, please focus. Can't Syrian energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. If there was any third party situations in a romance situation, you would already know and it is over. But that's definitely not what I'm getting with that. I'm actually just getting more disappointment than anything else and lack of um, lack of support between each other. Yeah, lack of emotional support between each other. I don't think there's been a whole lot of emotional support from this emperor to you, Gemini. Um, if anything, it seems like you feel like you've had to carry a lot of the load as far as keeping whatever you had with this emperor intact whether it was business related or love um could also be family but i'm not feeling strong family at all i'm not really feeling family but if it applies to you and resonates with you that way then by all means um <clears throat> yeah i'm just getting a lack of emotional support between the two of you 
And I feel like Gemini, I feel like you got to a point where you were just fed up, right? It's like fed up with their antics, fed up with them not really stepping up to the plate, right? Feeling like you were kind of in it by yourself, feeling like you never really had my back. God, this feels a little bit like Libra that I did yesterday. Was that just yesterday? No, I took the day off. That was the day before. Um, feels a little bit like the Libra reading, so maybe you have a connection there. Go ahead and, and watch that. That might um, resonate with you. But yeah, that's what I'm feeling with that. But they really want to try to be forceful about making compelling, making a com compelling, Jesus, <laughs> making a compelling argument to reinvest with you. All right, let's keep it moving. King of Cups and the world. You know we're looking at the world. <laughs> There's no way I'm not looking at the world in this reading. All right, let's see what this is about. Tell me about the world for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the world for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the world for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd. Oh, got a peeker. Come on now. Where'd you go? I saw ya. <laughs> there it is. Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. I feel like this is what's being closed out. This Five of Pentacles energy, I feel like that's what's being closed out. If you've been having any financial issues, that's going to be changing. And again, I feel like that's also kind of what's propelling you for those in my work group here um, to leave this work situation and either start your own business, go to a nonprofit everything I listed before because you've either been struggling financially like they haven't been giving you a raise or the promotion that you've been expecting or again you just don't feel taken care of again, I'm getting that support again you don't feel supported in your work situation and with this person you feel like they didn't support you they didn't show up they didn't show up five of pentacles not five of pentacles but pentacles pentacles is about the tangible it is about 3d aspects right they didn't show up. Some of you felt abandoned by this person is also what I'm getting. Some of you felt very abandoned by this person. Tell me about the world. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tell me about the world for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd of July. Tell me about the world. Okay. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. You could be a gem, Cancer, Cusper. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Page of Cups in reverse. Whew, nothing like hitting the elbow. King of Pentacles, Taurus energy could also be Earth or Air. Same, same King of Pentacles energy we saw in the pre shuffle. Overall energy, we do have the Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy, a very single divine masculine energy here. So what's being closed out is this energy, Gemini, that you've been dealing with, okay? That feeling of they didn't have your back. Or even if some of you might have even struggled financially, but that's not the highlight here. It's feeling like you didn't have that support, feeling like no one showed up for you, feeling like you had to stand on your own. And with that Queen of Cups in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse, um, well, not only were you really, really hurt, Gemini, but you had trouble kind of, I'm just the messenger here. You had trouble admitting that to yourself. I think because whenever this major disappointment happened like the last straw happened you just had to keep focused on your life and keep focused on doing the things you had to get done and staying productive and I felt I feel like you you kind of had a hard time admitting to yourself how hurt you really were in this situation I am also getting some childhood stuff coming up here with the page to the queen right the page is always the pages are usually associated with children but because it's also the same suit and I'm almost getting like a transition here, I'm getting that Gemini is either you or this emperor because this, this is actually feeling like, mm, no, emperor, emperor. Okay, I'm feeling this is more about the emperor here, what I'm about to say, but it could apply to you as well. Birds with feather flock together, as I always like to say, where there's, there's, there's a childhood rooted issue of abandonment. Okay. A childhood rooted issue of abandonment or feeling rejected and I'm getting some codependency because of that and I feel like this whole cycle ending 
is really helping the emperor kind of deal with these issues. And I think this, this emperor had to deal with these issues if they want, they have to deal with these issues if they want to reinvest with you. It's just the healthy thing. It's just the healthy change that has to be made. But I am getting that like childhood to adulthood kind of energy here with that. Okay. Anyway. And now we've got this king. <laughs> now we've got this king of pentacles energy, right? Um, being very ground. Oh, please focus. Please focus. There we go. Um, being very grounded, wanting to really be there, wanting to be supportive, wanting to be the support system. And I do feel like this is the emperor's energy coming forth here. Um, even though now they went from an emperor to a magician. Again, I'm getting that like being committed or being in a partnership, business, love, or otherwise, and now not having that anymore. Because Gemini's, I feel like you kind of ended this. I feel like you walked away from this. Um, but I feel like you're also having a hard time believing them. You're, you're trying to hear them out. You're trying to. You're trying really hard to. But you're having a really hard time believing that they're going to be this King of Pentacles slash King of Cups. You could be dealing with another Gemini since we got two court cards out here for them. Um, or this could be vice versa, of course. But... <clears throat> You're having a really hard time believing they're a King of Cups slash King of Pentacles, which, by the way, is an awesome combo. That's the combo we all want, right? When it comes to any kind of partnership, love or business or otherwise. I mean, that's not only um, being physically supportive in financial aspects or infrastructure, but also being there with love, being there with love, loyalty and commitment on top of it and really being genuine in that, being genuine in that. Not to mention, guys, we do have a true pair on the board, the King with the Queen. But like I said, you're having a hard time believing them, which is why I feel like you're seeing them as a magician in reverse. Like, I don't know, you could just be tricking me. <laughs> you could just be tricking me, but you are hearing them out. So let's look at the Eight of Cups and then we'll pull some advice. Let's go with Legacy on this one. Mm. Mm. I do feel they're very sincere. <clears throat> I do, I do feel they're sincere. However, if they haven't dealt with these issues of abandonment and rejection, my personal opinion, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you what to do because everyone's situation is different. <clears throat> my personal opinion, that's a really big issue when it comes to any kind of partnership. Because if you have issues with abandonment or rejection, how can you really trust people? And if you can't trust the person that you're trying to be in a partnership with, what's the longevity there, right? Sorry, I know I'm sounding a little blunt today, but you guys know how I am. Anyway, let's look at the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Gemini. Especially if this is a business relationship. I mean, this is like someone who's probably been burned a lot and when it comes to business. So probably like working with someone like that would probably be very hard. They probably would like to be very, very controlling about certain things. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Tell me about Eight of Cups. I'm hearing the word delegate. Okay, thank you. For those where this is a business relationship, uh, they don't know how to delegate because they don't want to delegate because of these issues. All right. So that's a, that's a biggie. So just think about it. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Gemini. Let's see, Geminis, what you end up walking towards, all right? Tell me about Eight of Cups for Gemini regarding love from now until the 23rd. All right, that feels good. Playing with this Eight of Cups for Gemini. Ooh. Oh, oh, look who showed up again. Magician in reverse. Double confirmation there. <laughs> wow. Mercurial energy could also be Virgo, which is Virgo Gemini. Uh, could also be Aquarius Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy here. Wow. All right. Let's see what else we get. Let's see what else. Ooh. Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay. Piscean energy. Remember, eight always leads to the 10. It always leads to the 10. The fact that it's in reverse just tells me that it's just not attained yet. It's just not attained yet. And you're wondering if you could even have that with this person. You're wondering if, if as of right now, if they're even capable. Yeah, you're still questioning them, which I totally understand. You're still questioning them. 
Let's see what else. Tell me about Eight of Cups. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Gemini. Regarding love. From now until the 23rd. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Gemini. Oh, oh, oh yes. We have the moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be a Cancerian for me as a reader. This is all that clarity coming out. Clarity and truth. What did I say? Truth is coming out. Shit that's been buried coming up to the surface, including emotions, including emotions. They're really hitting the home with me, including emotions, Gemini's. Overall energy, we do have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. You're following your intuition here, Gemini. You're following your intuition and you're not swaying from your own beliefs and your own standards and your standards is what is what also what I'm getting here. You're keeping the faith. You're keeping the faith, which I really like. However, I'm so curious about what, what's coming out. <laughs> uh, the Scorpion me has to know. It has to know. So let's get the Kipper deck out here and see what details we can get. <clears throat> Either way, Gemini's, you're getting your Ten of Cups, whether it's with this person or not. And your intuition, your intuition and keeping your standards and keeping your faith in what's best for you is really what's going to lead you to the Ten, whether it's with this person or not. Okay, <clears throat> tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse. What's being revealed? What's being revealed here to Gemini? Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse. <laughs> okay, so main male, not surprised. Not surprised there's the king slash emperor. Tell me about the moon in reverse. So the truth about this person, okay. Ooh, message of concern, 14 breaking down to a five. Yeah, okay, well we knew that. We knew that you had your doubts about this person. We knew that you were questioning them. Um, you might be finding out information that is like, gives you your final answer. Tell me about the moon in reverse. I think, mm, no, I know. They're gonna reach out to you, Gemini's. This emperor's gonna reach out to you it's gonna make you feel some kind of way might even make your stomach drop <clears throat> excuse me tell me about the moon in reverse thoughts 16 breaking down to a seven so definitely this person's been thinking about you a lot they've been thinking about you a lot but gemini's think you already know that i think you already know that tell me about the moon in reverse oh they're gonna tell you they've been thinking about you okay now i'm actually getting some inner dialogue here They've been thinking about you. They have been missing you. They've really been doing a lot of self-reflection. Um, ooh, they're going to fancy up the words. I, I would be cautious of that, actually, Gemini's. Um, mm, they're going to fancy up the words. I just, because I always say, guys, it's like, yeah, we have all these different love languages, and words are one of them. And, and actually, that's one of my love languages. But I've learned through time that even though that's my love language, it's kind of a shitty love language to have. And here's why. Because words are real cheap. They're really cheap. Someone could spell out the most beautiful words to you and they don't have to mean it, right? It's when people show up. It's when people actually show you who they are. So just be cautious with these pretty words that they're telling you, okay? Tell me about the moon in reverse. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Oh, mature man. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, Emperor, thank you. This is more of that Emperor energy. So basically, they're going to tell you they have changed and that they have matured, that they've grown up. They've grown up because they've seen the error of their ways. That's what they're going to tell you. That's what they're going to tell you. I can still feel you have your doubts. I can still feel it. Tell me more about the moon in reverse. Tell me more about the moon in reverse. For Gemini. Last card judication oh my so as a lot of you know who've been with me for a long time judication is basically a card where there's two parties in conflict okay or two parties that are having some issues and there's a third party trying to either get them to resolve their issues and come together or help them resolve their issues and move along in their own way so this can either be a divorce card it can even be a therapy a therapy card 
Um, so especially the, for those who are married, you can either be getting divorced or going to marriage counseling, right? It could be one or the other. It's also quickly become my divine intervention card. I don't see any divine intervention cards here, so I'm not going to say that that's it in this case. I'm not feeling that. But definitely there seems to be some kind of mediation of some kind going on here, okay? Um, again, whether it's to finally just go about your separate ways or to finally come together. Overall, for the, the moon in reverse, we do have community. Community can mean a lot of things. It's basically your social circle. So friends, family, your actual community, your actual neighborhood here. Um, oh. Okay. I like that. My guide said it could also be your spirit team. Why not? And I was like, oh, all right. Thank you. That's some insight. I like that. Could also be your spirit team at work. So that would tell me that there's some divine intervention going on here. Either way, Geminis, that's what's being revealed to you. This person's basically going to tell you they've matured. They know they fucked up. They know what they did. But they are going to put some pretty words on it. So just be mindful of that. Okay? Just be mindful of that. I do feel some family issues going on with this emperor, though. I'm feeling that really strongly all of a sudden. Family issues or social circle issues. Either way, keeping your faith and holding on to your intuition is what's going to lead you to your Ten of Cups with or without this person. Some of you are going to choose this person. Some of you are going to choose to leave this person behind, all right? For sure. It's it's not going to be a, a one answer fits all, okay? But let's get some advice. Let's get some advice for you guys. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Some of you are finding out this person's gone through some kind of liquidation of a business or some kind of divorce from another party. Is also what I'm getting. Oh, kicked out. What the hell? That just came in really quick. Some of you are going to find out this person got kicked out of their place. Wow. All right. Evicted. Huh. That, I, I, I would feel like that's cause for concern, but that's just me. That's just me. Any advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Ooh, let's see what we got here. Oh, I love this card. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. 38 breaking down to 11. What did I say, guys? Manifestation. Manifestation. Geminis, you guys have been really focusing on, on you. And, and again, some of you are thinking about nonprofits, starting your own business, which I freaking love. Um, you, you're just looking ahead and you're looking ahead for yourself, right? Don't stop doing that just because this person is, you know, trying to make amends or trying to get back in your good graces, trying to reinvest with you. And like I said, I do feel like they're being genuine, but if they haven't worked through these issues of abandonment and rejection, I'd be very cautious, okay? I'd be very, very cautious. And there's no way to know that until you give them a shot. Decide how you feel about that. I'm not telling you to give them a shot, but I'm just saying you really don't know for sure until you spent more time with them and talking with them again. But don't, don't stop manifesting. Don't stop manifesting, okay? Um, no matter what happens as far as the relationships in our life, we still have the relationship with ourselves and we still got a life to live, right? Any other advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Oh! Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. 60 breaking down to a six. So like I said, Gemini, some of you I think had a hard time admitting to yourself how hurt you were by this situation. And I feel like this conversation is going to require some some emotional waters. And that's been a little theme through your whole reading here. Um, oh, coupling with the manifestation. Hold on a second. What's coming in here? Okay, this person is is going to make it a little difficult for you okay because you've been maintaining your focus and you still have some of that hurt with you and when we have hurt with us what happens we get triggered right dive deep gemini's to keep manifesting make sure you really ground yourself with your emotions here okay because it's going to be really easy i feel for you to get shaken by this person once this conversation starts and you still got a lot of things to focus on for yourself right don't forget that 
don't forget that stay very anchored into your emotions here so that you can keep doing what you got to do but there is going to be some some hard truths you're going to have with yourself regarding how you feel about this person okay some of you i feel have probably <clears throat> excuse me been telling yourself you know i don't care about them i don't care i'm over it i don't care i don't care and they come to find out you do care and that you may you maybe not you're you're not over it and you might have a hard time with that because you've been telling yourself otherwise so be mindful of that just stay grounded in your emotions here okay i think you're also going to see a whole other side of this person emotionally when you speak to them for those who've had this change with their abandonment issues and their rejection issues for those who've had that change okay and for those who've had that change i feel you probably will choose them I think you, yeah, I think you probably will reinvest with them. But for those who haven't, uh, yeah, I see you giving them the door. Any other advice for Geminis? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Any other advice for Geminis regarding this spread? Oh, horse spirit freedom is yours. 33, which is a master number. I love that, Geminis, especially with all this, like, white energy. This is the only card in this deck that has this much white and purple like very high upper chakra energies kind of going on here and what did i say stay tapped into your intuition right that's going to lead you in the right direction <clears throat> and stay grounded in your emotion you have the freedom to do whatever the hell you want and for those and for a lot of you i feel you were dealing with a control jesus a controlling person a controlling person because of these issues with abandonment and rejection right that's usually transpires into control issues and for those who've been dealing with that you've enjoyed that taste of freedom that taste of just being yourself and not having to to answer to anybody not having anyone looking over your shoulder you've been really enjoying that and you don't want to really let go of that. I can feel that, Gemini's. And if this person has changed in the way they say they've changed, you can still have this energy if they've changed in the way they've changed. Only you can decide that in your own situation if that change has actually transpired, okay? And now, overall, we have Moth Spirit. Surrender now. 39 breaking down to a 3. This is interesting. I actually feel like this is more for the Emperor. I definitely feel like this is more for the Emperor. Gemini's, I don't feel like you're really need to surrender to anything. I feel like you actually need to be anchored and holding on to the things that so far have really been working for you in your life. Because at the end of the day, what did I say? It's your life, right? You got a life to live outside of this person. And you already know that. You're on a really good track. Now, this Emperor, I feel like, is actually the one who really does need to surrender to themselves, surrender to their emotions, surrender to their trauma that they need to heal, right? Surrender to what has happened to them. Surrender to what's, what opportunities have come their way to make amends and to make things right. Yeah, this is definitely more for the emperor than for you guys. Okay? Wow. Oh, yeah. See, underneath that, look at that. Time to collaborate. Yep. <laughs> yeah, time for them to work with spirit and time for them to, you know, to make things right. But anyway, Geminis, I hope you guys found this insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great week, Geminis. Namaste.